I would love for a study to be done, quantifying the metric tons of bum shit that have impregnated this sand here at the Crow Creek Hopout in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Very classic spot. I think I've, I have been here in a video before. <clears throat> Got off our train last night around 9.15, about two miles uh, back west of town here. Wandered on in, uh, ate some snacks from the gas station pretty much and passed out around midnight. We were all tired. It was probably a 13 or 14 hour train ride out here um, with a refueling and crew change in Rollins on the way. This is where we split ways. They're continuing east. Uh, one of them, actually they're both going up to Canada from here. And uh, I am heading for Denver. And then from Denver, catching the Rio Grande and hoping to film the thing in its entirety back to Salt Lake for everybody. And then hopping on the Overland and ending up in Reno for my gig coming up and I have nine days to do that which should be pretty doable if things go smoothly enough um, yeah three different options for getting out of here uh, down to Denver one involves a very long walk but it's the quickest ride and the most reliable uh, easiest boarding experience, if you will. <clears throat> the other way is to just bomb the yard and find a Denver-bound train, and the third way is to catch BNSF. And BNSF is also pretty easy. Uh, it does not involve the walk, but it's a long ride, and they work a lot of towns along the front range, and you can get cut, possibly. And it's just, like, literally it takes five or six times as long as riding UP. So I still haven't even made up my mind entirely on what I'm gonna do there. Um, but I do have a day, a day I can spend here. There might be some wicked bad thunderstorms this afternoon, I've heard, and tomorrow, which could impact my plans. We shall see though. For now, me and Pepper are just kinda hanging out. That's a fantastic name for a minute, Mark. It's the Sinclair. There's even a town out here in Wyoming named Sinclair. It's a little bit east of Green River and Rock Springs. I filmed it. It's just a big ass oil refinery where they make fuel. And they all got these tacky dinosaur logos and like a lot of them have a big green dinosaur you can ride out front anyway walking into downtown Cheyenne Let's see what we get into here some covered porches which should keep me like dry-ish for the rain. We also got this thunderstorm coming in hot. Just fantastic timing for me. Ideally, I'd like to get on a ride and be dry when the storm comes. Why not? 
What's up with this town and Big D's, man? Well, unfortunately, my pursuit was fruitless. <clears throat> it probably took a little bit too long getting back over here. <clears throat> and they either picked up the block I wanted to ride. Yeah, they have to have. I've looked all over the yard. It's not here anymore. So yeah, they picked it up in the two hours I was away from it and took off. No worries, though. I had a feeling that could happen. Uh, and then we got this rain blowing in, too and I'm down here under the bridge. So everything kind of worked out, really. Um, yeah, as far as tonight goes, I'll probably go to charge my scanner in town again, and then, I mean, unfortunately, I think I'm probably gonna have to wake up in the middle of the night and do a little uh, reconnaissance. Uh, maybe like 2 a.m., go in there and see if there's anything going to Denver. And then, if not, come back out and go to bed till morning. <laughs> No luck on a train this afternoon, but it's probably okay. I need a good night's rest anyway. I'm just gonna go to bed and uh, wake up early and see if I can find the Denver train. Two a.m. No sign of my train. And it's raining. I'm going back to bed. All right, morning time. Hanging out, charging my scanner, some other things, making a cup of coffee real quick. Um, Noon time now. I got another rider watching my backpack and I just went down to the yard. Still no sign of a Denver train. It's gonna start raining here in a couple of hours. <clears throat> so I guess I'm probably staying put and I'm just gonna hope they put something together and that I can find a dry ride. That's really uh, all I can do for today, I feel like. Got another rider watching my gear, and uh, I'm gonna go get some supplies for the rain this afternoon. Cause I'm probably just gonna be posted underneath that bridge the entire afternoon and night. Tonka. <laughs> All right, playing some live music over here. Actually sounds pretty good. Today might not be so bad after all. They've also got an OTB off-track betting for horses called Horse Palace. It'd be a good spot to spend the afternoon.
where you're supposed to be. Yo, dickhead. Anyway, um, Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, yeah, that's wet evening here in Cheyenne. I had some company for most of the day though, and it didn't really start until 3 or 4 p.m. It's coming up on 8 p.m. now, and I've just been sitting down here for the past few hours letting it blow through. A little bit boring this afternoon, but all in all, not bad at all, really. Uh, it should be fully dry tomorrow for the next couple of days. So I've got my chance at the Denver train. From here on, really, once this last storm blows through, you can kind of see like light out there now, so I think we'll be uh, clearing up sooner rather than later. And I'm still hoping for a Denver train. I mean, if I can be on one tomorrow, I feel all right about the whole game plan. I can always take Amtrak to like, uh, get me into Reno in time for the gig. But it'd really be nice to go back over there on the line that isn't the Overland route. All right, morning time, I finally found a Denver train. Gonna go get my backpack and get on. Heading back to the yard, did a little resupply. I've been scanning them and they've been working something up in the yard for a while now. I'm gonna head up on top on the uh, overpass and peek down in there. I'm slightly skeptical of this block of cars I've identified for Denver. I think the move, even if, even with my skepticism, if they leave, I'll probably just get on it. Well, they're doing something to the train I want to ride. It looks like they uh, slapped a nice long block on the other end and now they're pulling it back into the yard. Just gotta say, three for six, not bad. Um, yeah, okay, my train is out there in the yard. Seems like the current operations are, there is no originating Denver train from Cheyenne. The manifests originate from North Platte now, and there is a pickup or a set out. And no, it's not really a set out, it's a pickup uh, here in Cheyenne. Midday. So I think I'm good.
do. We're definitely getting ready to go. A worker with a like fucking wizard staff just walked by me. Um, yeah, checking all the airlines now, and then I bet we'll pull within half an hour. Got that uh, outbound crew. Let them know we're headed that way. See where we end up. We'll pick them up. Over. Copy that. So as it turns out, this is a block dropped off by something else 24 hours ago. <clears throat> it gets worked, broken up, set out in the yard, and now we're getting picked up by a manifest train from North Platte going to North Yard in Denver. So I don't think they have an originating manifest from Cheyenne anymore. The uh, yard worker with the wizard staff just walked by me again. I don't think he saw me. He seemed cool though.
I'm not drunk. I'm just drinking. I'm not stoned. I'm just thinking. Thinking about the way that you done me. Thinking about what used to be. But I'm not drunk. I'm just drinking. I'm not drunk. I'm just drinking. I'm not stoned. I'm just thinking. Thinking about the big blue eyes. Thinking about the white lies. But I'm not drunk. I'm just drinking. Scenically sighted out here over the South Platte River, <clears throat> uh, just south of Greeley, Colorado, where UP also can go eastbound. It's about halfway between Cheyenne and Denver overall. It's been like one hour. We're airing up again. UP is the way to go. Being the Ceph takes like fucking eight hours. Uh, I'm already halfway there. I bet you I'm gonna be there by 3 p.m. Oh, the fuck are you? We got a hitchhiker aboard this train. Security. Um, yeah, we're gonna end up in the Union Pacific North Yard on this train, which is very convenient because the BNSF train I want to catch actually goes through the Union Pacific North Yard and frequently stops for clearance and signals there uh, around 3 p.m. It's like 1.30 now. I've got about an hour left on the ride and uh, it seems like I could very possibly just get off the train and immediately on to my other train. We'll find out, but that would be pretty tight, like a tiger, you know? Allegedly, this train shouldn't really work between Cheyenne and Denver, yet here we are in the yard going slowly, acting as if we're about to do some work. I hope that I don't have to get off and do the shuffle here. Sighted out here about halfway to Denver. I have a feeling this train is about to get worked, which, I don't know, I didn't think it really would. What in the dog shit is going on over here? Sighted out here, south of Greeley, Colorado. I 
I think um, this is the line coming in from Kansas right over here. It's got like a uh, built train out there on it. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Um, I really hope we don't work. That would be really weird though. I think everything should go to North Yard and then it gets distributed from there. Anyway, drinking on that Colorado Kool-Aid. Here we go. Okay, yeah, they're definitely done with the block I was riding, for now anyway. Got some workers out here doing their thing, and I'm trying to make it back in here and get on a ride. I think I'm just gonna wait somewhere at the junction here, so whenever they hook up road power, I can just grab whichever part they're taking, because right now I'm really not sure. Okay, so the train I came in on is over here. And right behind me, there was another train coming in. It's parked over there. Units up front right up there. Two sets of units. I don't know which train is like the live train anymore, the, ro the road train. It's kind of a funky thing they're doing here, but I'm just holding tight and then uh, whenever something seems ready for the road, I'm just gonna bomb it. I switched over to this block just because they left it on the main line. <clears throat> Turns out it would have been good where I was too, but they made the cut like, oh, three cars from where uh, I was riding. So it would have been a little hairy, no doubt. to the main Denver area though.
coming into the North Denver area. We just took the Y heading back to the north and it uh, looks like we're heading into North Yard from the north end of North Yard. And I'll try to bail uh, as we enter the yard going slowly. Do a little resupply and then very conveniently that's one of the places where you can wait for the uh, train that I want to catch next. It's, to be honest, it's never worked out for me there, but I know a lot of people who have gotten that train from there. So, uh, yeah. Welcome to Denver, Colorado. stop just outside the north throat of North Yard. I think I'm just gonna bail here even though it's a little bit of a walk. Uh, There's a convenience store on the way to the yard I can hit. Gotta love Circle K for the 50% beer shelf. Or 50% off. Not 50% alcohol by volume, unfortunately. <clears throat> uh, killing some time, slowly making my way over to the yard. It'll be late by the time I'm there.